a recap of kind of fall camp until now and just what you've seen, what you're happy with, what can still improve? Uh, yeah, we're really excited right now. We feel like we've got a lot of talent out on the field. Guys are playing hard um, and just trying to get better every single day. So we, we, we're excited about the potential of what we could possibly have. So. And, you know, it kind of helps out a lot with you coming in. It's your first year um, mm -hmm. coming back. Uh, just being able to return guys like Aaron Austin and um, a couple other guys on the outside linebackers. Um, just kind of what do you look for in them in terms of leadership and kind of leading the new yeah. guys we've brought in? A absolutely. I've been incredibly pleased with Aaron and the steps that he's taken as, as far as his leadership role. Um, and, you know, feel that he has the platform to do that. And he's bringing guys along with him. And again, very encouraged by what I've seen from him and not just him. But, but the rest of the group. Tim Muhammad's done a real good job. We're excited about Lane Lewis, who's came in from Grambling, uh, and then a freshman, Luwote Jerkin, who has really turned some heads here. So I feel, I feel blessed and honored to have such a, uh, a great group of guys, and, and hopefully that made me look real smart. So. And again, you kind of touched on the two new guys that we brought in. Uh, what have you seen from them in terms of development since getting here and just how are they kind of fitting into how we do things? Oh, been, been great additions to the room. Uh, you know, Lane played up the road at Grambling. Uh, it's incredibly twitched up, got an edge to him. The Wote coming in as a true freshman, uh, but does not act like it. He is incredibly sharp uh, and, and, and focused and, and took a lot of big time reps uh, the last few days. And we're excited about where both of those guys are going to go. And a rising tide lifts all ships. And all right, Coach, just kind of give us a recap of fall camp so far. Uh, it's been really good. Um, you know, tra transition to this to an even front more so and, and uh, doing a little bit different things up front wise to take advantage of what we got up front. Um, and then also use our, our backers as, you know, we got a, a good linebacker crew, athletic can do a lot of different things and be try to be uh, as multiple as we can while being in, a, in, in that even front and, and, uh, and everything. So, um, but it's been really good so far, a lot of growth and a lot of uh, retention in terms of the guys who are, who are here and the guys who have showed up and came, been really good retention rate. And you kind of talked about the new scheme, and you have Jermaine Brown and Luke Watson coming back. Um, just kind of how have they kind of taken on to the new scheme and been able to lead the guys through that? Well, you know, uh, Jermaine Brown being the super senior, you know, he's had a lot of football uh, in his career here. And, um, you know, been starting for us at Will Linebacker the last two years. So he's he's been in three different defenses and and so he, he's uh, he's picked it up really well has grown his football knowledge and has has done a really good job with the young guys and developing and, and uh, being a mentor and just a, just a leader for, for them and, and Luke Watson you know first year playing college football was last year and did a really played over 500 snaps for us and did a really good job and had, uh, doing really well in terms of his retention and, and being a strong leader for us and he's you know, he's Texas guy we got East Texas tough and he's that's what he is. And kind of touching on the new guys, um, brought in a couple guys to the transfer portal and freshmen. Uh, just yeah. kind of what have you seen from them so far and how have they kind of taken to that East Texas tough mentality? So newcomers in terms of guys that, that just came in, uh, definitely a guy who's going to be a, a good one for us is Josiah Cotton. He's been doing a lot of good stuff, really, really smart player that's came in. And, uh, you know, our scheme was different than what he's, he's been used to, and he's picked up really, really well. And, and grades out at, at what we believe the standard should be uh, from a daily routine and, and uh, taking care of business. So he's, he's doing a really good job. And also um, Michael Woods, the incoming freshman who was an early grad from San Antonio uh, Judson out down there. And he came in, did spring ball with us, really, really smart football player and, and is going to be developed and going to gonna contribute on, for the Lumberjacks this year. All right, Coach, just kind of give us a recap of fall camp so far. Yeah, fall camp's going good. We got a lot of guys making a lot of plays uh, downfield. We got some older guys. Um, we got some young guys stepping up make some plays. So right now I'm pleased with fall camp and uh, hopefully keep it going. And, you know, kind of talking about those older guys, or turners that we brought back, um, just kind of what have you seen out of them and leadership with this new offense and kind of teaching guys a new offense, guys that kind of came in? Absolutely, yeah. One of the older guys that came in uh, for us, is, uh, his name is Blaine Green, doing a great job for us. He's an older guy, uh, veteran mentality. He comes to practice every day, plays hard and practices hard. And he's been a real surprise this spring. He's been very consistent in his play, and we're going to depend on him a lot. 
I was going to kind of touch on that. Blaine came in out of the transfer portal and picked up a couple guys out of the transfer portal and some freshmen. Uh, just kind of how have they taken to kind of how we do things here in that East Texas tough mindset? Yes, they have adopted great and uh, they've adjusted to uh, kind of the way we play, uh, up tempo and the mindset, like you said, uh, East Texas mindset. Uh, those guys are doing a great job. Uh, Derek Bowler from Indiana is doing a great job, and then Rowan Fluellen. Uh, he's doing a great job adjusting and just uh, playing at the, you know, the expectations we want them to play at. And, you know, kind of everyone's been talking about the heat so far this August. Yeah. Um, how do you feel like that's going to help the wide receivers specifically kind of be able to last and build stamina for the season? Yeah, it's just building great conditioning for us. Like I said, we're going to be, you know, tempo and uh, run up to the offense and play fast. So it'll be, it'll be good for our conditioning and just uh, having good legs and stuff like that, be able to last throughout the series. All right, Coach, just kind of give us a recap of fall camp so far. Yeah, fall camp's been great, man. My, my group right now is stepping up. Got a lot of leaders, a lot of veterans in there, man. Like, uh, you know, Drell, Q, um, and then we got Q from Baylor, and then Ant, and then even Jenkins is going to be a true sophomore, but he's, he's acting like he's been here for three, four years already. So I'm really pleased with my group right now. And, you know, like you talked about already, um, Jarrell and Anthony kind of coming back this year. Yeah. Uh, what have you just seen out of them in terms of leadership and this new style offense? Yeah, yeah, and this fast tempo offense, man, I just think that they, they've stepped up. I mean, uh, our, our backs right now are having to do a lot of things, you know what I mean? But you know, right now they're, they're handling it, they're helping the room out, helping the young guys out, they're doing a great job. And you also talked about two of the transfers, Quaylen and, um, oh, I forgot his other name. Diego. Diego. Yep. Um, but kind of how have they adjusted? Since they've came in, yeah, I, man, uh, Quaylen Jones is—he's the real deal. You know, he came from Baylor, rushed about 700 yards. Uh, not this past season, year before that, but just a really talented kid. Um, I'm, I'm excited about him. Excited to see what he does for Lumberjacks and then Diego. You know, from Vanderbilt. You know, Texas kid in the low end. Uh, I'm excited about him. Re ready to see what he does on, on Saturday in the scrimmage. And you, just—I mean, this is your first year here too. Um, mm -hmm. Just kind of, how have you adjusted to East Texas and the heat and yeah. all that? Oh yeah, it's different out here in, in, in these Piney Woods. Uh, but, but I love it, man. I, I really feel like um, I'm here to, to serve others and be called here to, to more than just football. And I, and I can really see that day in, day out. Well, awesome, Coach. Looking forward to it. Appreciate Thank it. You. Excellent.